What is up everyone? Welcome back to another Rickles Fisher video. And as you can see, we're in a hotel and we're about to leave it. It's about seven in the morning and we're going for Jumbo Perch. We actually could have went for Jumbo Perch a number of places, but we decided to go to the furthest place away. It's all about the adventure, right? So uh, we've got about 45 minute drive and then we'll be to Jumbo Perch Paradise. So let's go see if we can find some today. This is the title of this video because we are freezing, bro. We're freezing, bro. So as you can see, it is minus 27 outside. That's why we're freezing, bro. Let's do this. So quick update. We took the forerunner on quite the trail. But at the end of it, there was a big hump and we had to uh, make the big decision if we're going to try and get over it. A little risky in this type of weather, but uh, we made it through it just fine. And now we're ripping on the ice here. The snow's kind of deep. So we're just going to go slow and steady and uh, try and get to our spot. This is an interesting journey already. All right, so a quick update. We are on the ice. We're set up in about seven feet of water, a little bit deeper. And uh, yeah, it's super warm in the tent. It's t-shirt weather, actually. And we got some tungstens down, some mealworms. We're hoping for the jumbo. So hopefully the next scene, we're on a fish. Yeah. Or is that a reindeer? A reindeer. <laughs> Caribou. It's a unicorn. <laughs> All right, so it's the next morning. I'm just editing this video, and I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight of what was going on. Jerry notices this deer that's walking right towards us and uh, it was breathing pretty heavy. It did have a little bit of a limp, but it didn't look like too terribly injured. And uh, we were just like wondering why is this deer walking right towards us? And uh, the first clip, I didn't realize it was there and you can kind of see a black spot off in the distance. You're gonna have to take my word. We, we didn't get any footage of the wolf, but there was a black wolf and it was following the trail of this deer and it noticed us on the ice. So it, it walked back into the bush and uh, yeah, the deer hung out on the ice around us for a while and slowly walked off towards the other side. So who knows what happens to it, but it was cool to see. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys. What you doing, buddy? It's cold out here to be traveling. Almost looks like there's something out there. So smart deer. <laughs> this is an injured deer, we're pretty sure. And we have seen what we think is a wolf on shore. And now it's running. It's scared. It's off, it went off the lake. Went off the lake. This is, yeah, this is an injured deer and that wolf is after it, I bet. Come hang out over here, buddy. You're safer. Uh-oh. This isn't good for the deer. <laughs> Jerry is hooked up. On what we believe to be a pike. If this is a perch, it might be the world record. <laughs> <laughs> but a pike on the tungsten is always a good fight. Uh, it's the, uh, the uh, tube that's coming up tail. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. That looks like an eater. We could do a pike, ca pike catch and cook. I don't really like pike. I've never had it where I enjoyed it, but. It could be cool to do for the channel, so let me know if you guys want me to do one, and I will do a pike catching cook. That would definitely be a keeper. Nice. Look at that fish. First fish of the day. <laughs> We're going to release this pike. It's a nice one. See ya. All right, one pikey on the board. He caught it on a tube jig, actually. It wasn't a tungsten. I'm using a tungsten, but I'm not getting anything, so I'm going to switch straight away here. Maybe I'll try... Rattle bait and make sure we get all the pike out of the area because that's probably why we're not getting the perch. But uh, yeah, we'll keep fishing, maybe catch some more fish. All right, so quick update this is not what we're after. This is a little dang pike I didn't even know it bit my hook, but uh, yeah, and a majestic release at that. But uh, we both are on the board with the pike now, and no perch yet. This pike's just gonna hang out for a bit until he's ready to leave. See you later, little buddy. All right, so quick update. I'm pretty sure I just lost a jumbo perch. We can't be sure, but it sure felt different than the pike that I caught. 
But uh, I got a little Cleo on with some mealworms, and that's what I got the bite on. So stay tuned. I'm going to get the GoPro going once it gets a little bit lighter here, and hopefully we can get some jumbo perch on film and not just some slimy snot rockets. <laughs> so I'm hooked up on another pike. This one's a little bit bigger than that first one. Uh, hopefully it's the one that stole my little Cleo because right after I lost that fish that felt like a perch, I lost a little Cleo. Oh yeah, this one's fighting good though. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, it's a little bit better, but it's still not what we need. If we're going to get pike, this is not what we need. Uh, nope, doesn't have my little Cleo, unfortunately. So... Looks like we are in uh, pike infested areas, unfortunately. Which is going to make the perch fishing a little tough right now. But a little chunkier than the first one at least. Nice. Alright, no little Cleo. Off you go. <laughs> Peace! <laughs> so right now, I just uh, got a tangle undone because I snapped my ultralight. And we got a nice pike on. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, at least the same size as the one Jerry caught, I'd say. I watched it bite right below the ice. And I must have given him a pretty decent hook set. <laughs> Hopefully this is the one that stole my little Cleo, then I'd be happy. It'd be almost worth it, because this was only like an $18 combo. So. I definitely see my rod tip in his mouth. Alright, well, it's about the same size as the one Jerry caught, maybe a little bit smaller. No little Cleo. But I'm going to have to switch rods because, as you can see, <laughs> I no longer have a rod tip for my perch and setup. Alright, nice slime rocket going back. Thanks for that, that was rude. Rick's with, on with another pike. Yeah, it is a pike fishing kind of day, I guess. <laughs> it's supposed to be a perch fishing kind of day. But we're getting these slimy little guys. They're trying to steal hooks. So you can see it inhaled that Len Thompson. Crappy. It's one of the bigger ones of the day. <laughs> little tiny jigging spoon. It's supposed to be for perch. We got the shrimp going, the steak going. Forgot the butter, so we have to cook it all in bacon grease, which <laughs> is fine by me. Little jigging spoon, and the biggest pike for me today. Oh, I better not hold it over that shrimp. Uh. Okay. Go right there. <laughs> Another pikey for Jerry. Sorry guys, this turned into a pike fishing trip. There's still hope for the unicorn though. All right, well we can catch perch, but once again, we're cooking some good food out on the ice, catching some pike, having a good time. It's really frosty out there. So we're staying in the tent, enjoying the warmth. All right, so I just hooked up. We just moved to a new lake and I hooked up on this beauty. That's the perfect size eater, probably like 11 inches, maybe 11 and a half in fat. We're gonna get back down there. We only got like an hour left of light, maybe. So we gotta get back down there and hopefully catch a few more. That's awesome, we found perch. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so we're just watching some trailer park boys and I just had a mark. I'm pretty sure there's a perch down there. Hopefully still down there. But it's been a slow day for perch. That was the, our third mark. I caught the first one. We missed the second one. And we might have missed the third one as well here by the looks of it. I don't think it's there anymore, but it's still been a fun day. We explored two new lakes and we got just a little bit of time left to hopefully catch another perch. So we'll keep you posted. And then if not, we'll see you at the outro. All right, so that's the end of this adventure. We uh, caught a crap ton of pike and one perch. We had a couple marks that we missed that were most likely perch. So we'll be going back to that spot for sure. But if you enjoyed this wintry adventure, make sure to give it a like and be subscribed. 
next video should be something completely different. Well, maybe not next video, but it'll be it'll be uh, in the near future here. And it's gonna be something completely different to my channel that I haven't done yet. So stay tuned to that. And uh, I'm gonna go back to my house and stay warm because it is freezing out.